Sparks here to play. Mini War Gaming Speed the Cooler Bat Rap. Here we are moving into Tower Turn 2. And looking good for us so far. Tower pretty much in the lead. And we're rolling now. Only one of the Barracudas shows up, but still, one beats none. And it's going to be going after his librarian there. I didn't even think about the fact that he's wearing Terminator armor. And we do remember now that I have to roll my leadership check. So the Fire Warriors stay, but the battle suits, they fail. They're only leadership 8. And so they run 3d6, and they're gone. And he went right off his base trying to get away from there so fast. So that's that for them. These uh, Hammerheads, they move over because they're going to have to blow up this Dread Knight. Because it's going to kill everything if I don't do it. Those guys in there fast transport fly off just moving around pretty much no real reason these guys they passed their leadership failed their armor save and then failed to feel no pain so one of them actually takes a wound trying to leave the water and now they move but now they're going to get out of the river because they've got to try and get a little bit closer so that they can start aiming for that dread knight because he's going to kill all of the fire warriors over there because his guns either ignore cover or ignore their armor or both which not good news these fire warriors, they move over because, like I said, it's going to be my entire army trying to kill one four wound ter terminator. And so that's what I'm doing. Everybody's moving over, moving over, moving over. This giant conga line of fire warriors are all moving up because I honestly really like this unit. It's really, ex really expensive, but it's so fun to use just because it's this big blob of fire warriors that wander around. Uh, we fire the marker lights, we get four of those, so statistics right there out of eight you get four and then i believe that i have my battle suit shoot it and they get one marker light from there as well and now my commander tries to shoot and he fails and now i'm shooting my broadsides re increasing or reducing his cover say that's what i did and re increasing their ballistic skill no they have a targeting array they already hit on twos Increasing their, reducing his cover save, they did two wounds, and he now has a five up, and he fails one, so that's one wound, down to three, because he has a five up invuln, so there's no point in reducing his cover save any further than that. All of the fire warriors now shoot, and I increase their ballistic skill, so I get a whole bunch of shots, and they're hitting on twos, because they have ballistic skill four. Now I wish that the Pope was dead there, because he would increase, he would let me reroll ones to hit and to wound. But he's still alive for now, so they've got to try and get him killed or not. But anyway, then I need to roll four or fives to wound. I get a bunch of wounds, and he makes every save. So that's unfortunate for me. So out of eight saves, he made eight. Now I shoot all the other fire warriors at it. They get one more wound, and he has a two up, and he makes it. And then I fire my next hammerhead, and it fires its eye or railgun along with its burst cannons, hitting on threes, wounding on fives and twos. So it does two wounds, one normal two up save, and one five up invuln. And he rolls to make those, and he fails the invuln, so we did one more wound to him. Oh no, he has a cover save because he's in the iron bar forest, so he's a four up cover in there, my mistake. So it didn't do any wound to him. Now he shoots with the railgun, it does one more wound, and once again, four up cover save, and he makes that save as well. Now I shoot another hammerhead at it, and its railgun misses, but it does hit with four of its burst cannons and does do a wound there. And so he's got a two up cover or armor save now, which he makes. So he's fine from that. Now my battle suits, they take their long range plasma gun shots, trying to get a few hits, and they have a targeting array, so they hit on threes. Oh no, I used the last marker light. Anyway, they did uh, two wounds, one normal and two invulns. And he fails one of those, so he's down to two wounds now. But I am running out of units to shoot this guy. All those green fire warriors there, they take shots at him as well. They're hitting on fours, so they're not exactly uh, accurate. And they wound on fives. They only get three wounds on him. And he fails two. So the last unit of my last few shots actually finish him off. Which is good for him, though, because if he didn't, I would have killed him with everything else. Then his Psyker goes to do Shrouding, and actually uh, he gets a move, but he fails his Psychic test, so... Or rather, he gets it and gets Perils, my mistake. And he takes his wound, so he's down to two. And now my... Oh, he took... He did the Shrouding because my Barracuda shot at him, but then he has a two-up armor save, so he's fine. And now I'm shooting the little Burst Cannon that was nearby, and it doesn't do anything. Oh, 
Oh, never mind, my mistake. Totally misread that one. <laughs> anyway, did another wound to him. That was good. He's down to one wound already. And these guys all jump back in there, feel no pain river. So they'll have to do another dangerous terrain, but we keep the drones out because one, they get hit before everyone else, and two, they don't need to take it. One of the battle suits fails his feel no fit or his dangerous terrain check, but he has a three up, which he promptly passes. So Grey Knight's turn two begins. This is what he's been waiting for because the majority of his army is in reserve right now. First aircraft, it is in. And then we had a bit of a debate because the Terminators are not actually inside of his flyers. They're individual units. The other aircraft is not in. So that's unfortunate. He got the command trait to let him reroll. Next group is in. Next group is in. And Drago is not in, but he gets to reroll. And he's in now. So his first flyer comes in, headed straight for mine. These guys, because they're near the uh, librarian, they don't have to scatter. So he just kind of deep strikes everybody right within that six inches, or at least they start within the six inches of the librarian, which is bad news for my guys, but they're far away at least. These guys are back up and ready to go because they did pass their leadership last turn. And so they're on the move. And they move through difficult terrain, moving over to grab that objective, or at least contest it. And, of course, because it gives them cover, which they don't really need. I mean, the Fire Warriors just have lots of shots. They're not particularly dangerous shots. Not against Space Marines, anyway. He shoots his multi-melt at my flyer, which promptly misses. Then he goes to shoot his LAS cannon at it. Hitting on three hits, and glancing on a one pen. Plus one on one as he rolls, he rolls a five. Oh no, I made my cover save because I jinked. That's right, I have a four up jink. Now here is his land, or land raider. Here is his dreadnought taking shots. And once again, we kind of forgot that he only has one gun. But I do make both my cover saves anyway, so we're okay there. Now he shoots his infantry up at my flyer there. The, what are they called? The, the gray knight gun. Nah, he uses it all the time. I can't remember. Shoots four times. Psy Cannon. Psy Cannon. He does one hit and does a glance to it, or does a pen to it, and it, I believe, is immobilized. Has to continue moving at the same rate. And it takes a glance, or it takes a hull point, of course. Now he's firing at it with a few random shots, and does blow it up. So it crashes and lands straight down. Bam, hits the ground. Now he shoots at my battlesuit squad with his commander, or with Drago and the Grey Knights behind him. And they all fire together, of course. Because it doesn't really matter, they're all hitting on more or less the same. Gets tons of shots, tons of hits, but I do have cover saves because I am sitting behind that Aegis defense line. But the two drones, they die. Now I'm rolling for the next guys who have their 3-up as well as a 5-up. Or in this case, they have just a 3 up. Man, hard to follow. There we go. He failed one, the first save, then the rest made their saves, because there was a couple of passing off between lookout sirs and not, because my commander was taking it or not taking it. And effectively, they're okay. They took one wound, but we lost both the drones. And he's firing his other guns at them now, and I'm making my one save, but I failed the feel no pain, and he dies. So we lost one of the battle suits. But here we are at the end of turn two for Grey Knights, or the end of turn two entirely. And thankfully we killed that giant hulking monstrosity that walks around in the metal armor suit but I lost one of my flyers and I've lost a couple battle suits an entire unit of battle suits in fact so stay tuned for part three and see how this bat rep goes <laughs>